walk 676 miles. That's a lot of hard work for these feet. Jason's practically professional at this now. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Great to meet him, and um, 116 miles done, three grounds done. And then here we are, two Cambridge legends. I'm Ian Ashby. Uh, I'm back in Jez and um, uh, Jez, Jez uh, Mission 676. Please donate six pounds seventy six. Come on, Jez 676. Brilliant. That's fantastic. The children and all the, you know, the kids at the football club. You got you got a cut far to look forward to. That must be exciting. Not as exciting as you and your 26 minutes. Ah, you've got a straight back on track there, yeah. yeah. Well, that's not been very exciting, that's been tough. But this is for raising money for our community trust. Kurt, it's brilliant for you to give us your time today. It's up on the head and everything, really appreciate it. And uh, just saying to you before that, maybe four years ago, we did something similar where we were promoting or yeah. highlighting the fact that lots of non-league clubs don't get a youth funding. You started at Luton, didn't you? Yeah. And um, there's a big article that someone wrote about yourself, Dave Kitson and, and Jack Collison. Yeah, we were just obviously highlighting the fact that obviously with the funding obviously going uh, slowly from the, the non-league teams, it was, um, it was key because if we hadn't had the funding, I might not have got that YTS that I got because I was a late signing and um, they might not have had the extra funds to have signed me and then if not, I don't know where I would have been without that. Hi, I'm Curtis Davis of Hull City and I'm supporting Mission 676 and these are my 26 keep yuppies. <laughs> Enjoying it. Sun's out. Just what you want to hear, isn't it? Feeling good. Cheers, mate. Thank you for that empathy. <laughs> 23 miles. Oh. Oh. Last one I wanted chocolate stick. Thanks everyone, well done. And um, back to the hotel for the delights of a nice bath. Very good. And it's that like? Let's just go back. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Best Western and uh, Roger Thorpe Hotel. Outside Pontefract, give us uh, two rooms BB for free um, last night. So, um, thanks for their support. And uh, anyone wants to have a wedding here, we know from the music last night that they uh, can accommodate that. And anyone wants a steak, we know, Stu, that they do a rather nice uh, nice rump, don't they? Very good. Rare. So, um, thank you very much, Roger Thorpe, and um, back on the road um, to get past Pontefract and somewhere towards Huddersfield. Which way? Day seven. Down that way. Yeah. I'm motivated today by the fact that I'm walking on my own and yesterday was 7 hours 45 minutes and at the end of the day my ankle and my knee are so swollen just on my feet too much so I'm trying to march at 4 miles an hour mate. Yeah. I started dead on 9, it's dead on 11, 8 miles done and uh, I'm going to try and just keep this pace going as much as possible. And uh, I've had a few people on the phone, so that's been good to keep the company. But I'm just going to keep cracking on as far as I can, because 
got to make today shorter than yesterday, mate, and we? Yeah. And as final scores at quarter five as well. <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven, six miles. That's a lot of hard work for these feet. Jez is practically professional at this now. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Please keep giving those £6.76s, they'll make a big difference.